This video from Sharpel, we're looking at PLU or sub-department programming on the XCA 202 and 301 registers. So on the machine is standard, you've got department buttons here, so you can use these by um, typing in prices or if you've got preset prices, setting them up and then selling through the department buttons. What you can also have is individual PLUs, so a PLU is uh, kind of like an individual product. So it has its own price, its own description, but it needs to belong to a department um, in terms of reporting and tax status. So in this video, we'll show you how to set up a couple of um, PLU sub-departments. First thing to do is to turn the key round to the PGM position. So you need the MA key in, and that'll let you go to PGM. You then type in the number of the PLU you want to program. So for example, PLU 99, you'd simply type in 99, and then you press the PLU sub key here. So till now knows that we want to program PLU 99. The next thing you enter is the price. So it'll have a preset price and you type that in. Keep it simple with a pound, so one double zero. You then assign the PLU to a department. So we'll put ours into department one. The reason why you do this is that that now inherits all the tax properties of department one. So my department one is 20% um, tax department, so that PLU I've just programmed, PLU 99, is now coming under the tax one category 20%. Once you've programmed um, those settings, you then press TLNS to save it, and you get a little printout showing PLU 99 is preset to one pound. So we'll pop in another department now, sorry, another PLU, um, so we'll go PLU 101, so 101, PLU sub. This time we'll put it into a department shift category. So we'll put it into department 17. So to do that, we then press depth shift, followed by um, the relevant button, and then again, TLNS to save it. So we can see here, PLU 101 belongs to department, sales department 17, I forgot to put a price in, didn't I? I'll do that one again. 101 PLU sub, then the price. So we'll call this one a pound. That's right, isn't it? Then we press department sub here. Department shift, sorry. Then that button there. And that's got my one pound in. I got marginally distracted while I was doing that one. So the last way of doing a PLU sub is if you've got a department, if you've got a PLU that you want to put into um, departments 33 to 50. So obviously you've got 1 to 16 here, you access 17 to 32 via the shift, and then you've got department hash, which gives you um, 33 to 50. So to do those, it's very similar, except you do it in a slightly different way. So you type in the number, so for example, PLU 25, then you hit the PLU sub key, and then instead of entering the price, you now put in the department code. So we're going to put ours into department 40. So you type in 40, you then press the depth hash button, and that has now put that PLU 25 into department 40, so it's inherited all department 40's properties. And you now pop in the price. If you're not having a price set, you just press the TMST button, but we'll set ours to a pound. Then we press TMST to save and then TLNS to exit the program. So we can now turn the key back around to reg and we'll just test those PLUs out so you can understand how it works. We'll just have a quick review of what we've done. So we've programmed PLU 99 into department one and have given it a preset price of a pound. And then we did PLU 101 twice, but the second time we did it, we give it a price of a pound and put it into department 17. And we've also done PLU 25 into department 40. So the way you sell a PLU, um, you literally type in the price in the reg mode, sorry, type in the number and then press the button. Um, so we've got PLU 25, PLU 101, and also I did PLU 99. We'll subtotal that off. Cash it off, and then we get our sale print out. So PLU 25 a pound, PLU 101 a pound, PLU 99 a pound. You see the different tax settings, so I must have put two of them into department one. 
because that's my 20%, so I've got two pound taxable amount, one of which is 167 net and 33 P VAT. I talk about more about the VAT setting in a different video. So if this isn't making any sense, check that one out. And then my other pound has gone through a 5% tax rate, department tax rate two. Okay, so I hope that video has made sense. What I'll do is the next video, I'll show you how to give them descriptions, because obviously PLU one, PLU 73, um, doesn't necessarily help you or your customers know what they've bought. So you can give each PLU description, which is easy to do. That video will be appearing now, so you're welcome to check that out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.